you are watching Kolsky One. Like, share, and subscribe. Hi, welcome back to Kolsky One. So the weather in the UK is crap as normal. So today I thought I'd do a quick first look video at this frame. So I was gonna—I haven't showed you the frame in the box like some people might do. I've decided to build it, and then I'll show you. So I was gonna have some flight footage attached to this, but the weather's terrible. I've had a brief flight with this, and. Uh, it flies really nice, but I can't tell. I've only got a very, very brief flight. So this is the HSKRC Brave. It's a five-inch frame, as you can see, with these support arms going down the side. The support arms are really thin. I believe they're a mil and a half, and it has got five mil arms. The build itself is ridiculously simple. Apart from it comes with two holders to mount the air unit in. I could not make them work whatsoever, so I've done my normal and double sided tape the air unit in with that high temperature tape. Seems to work fine for me, I've done it on loads of builds now. But everything else apart from that was an absolute dream to build. As you can see, you get the TPU mounts to hold the antennas in the back, and it comes with TPU mounts underneath for the bottom of the arm skids, if you like. And altogether was a ridiculously easy build. So, what have I built it with? So, I have put on the NIN 20 speed or 6.5 motors on here. And these are the 4S version, I believe. Yeah, these are 2400s. So, I'm going to fly some 4S. I've also obviously put the DJI Air Unit system in it. I have the Kakute F7 stack in here, which... I'm not the biggest fan of in the world, but it is simple if you want to just do a quick bit, quick build for DJI because it's simply plug and play. I am flying this on the DJI unit um, receipt, transmitter, so obviously I've got no receiver in here. So overall, a really simple build. It took me about an hour to put this together, and the and I think these are hmm, not sure what, what props I've got on here. I think these are Vanovers. So these have got some Vanovers on here. I'm seeing the Vanovers. Oh, I can't remember if these are the Nazgul 5.1. There's some props. I'll put that in the description what I put on here anyway. It's just a quick video to show you it up close and personal if you like because I can't fly. And it's my latest build. So just bear with me one second and I'll show you my latest purchase. The video. Here we have my latest purchase. This is the Flywoo Vampire. So before I go through, let me tell you what we've got coming up. I have got the iFlight Chimera Chimera 7 inch coming up that I showed you on a video a couple of weeks ago that it was coming, it was £395 and it was on my price point. Well, here you go, I bought one. So I've got that coming. I've also got the Chimera Long Range, the 4 inch, that's due any day. That has got the DJI system is but I went with the Nebula because you can't get stock the Vista and I've also got which is due today actually the Diatone Roma 5 inch and I went for the um, DJI obviously but I only went for the Vista because I didn't go for the air unit because of the fact I've got props in shot anyway as is this but a different story so let me, let me talk about this one so this is obviously the fly blue vampire you've probably all seen this before i went for the bling bling gold one I absolutely love this thing let's be fair i've done a quick flight with this again i've got no video hence why i'm doing these two together and what i'll do uh, probably a week or so well however quick i can get the video up i'll do flight videos at the field i'll take it to the field i'll do an intro there and i'll show you the flight footage from both of these two um just naked straight from the cameras. I won't put any GoPros or anything on either of them, but that's what we'll do. This is a thing of beauty. I bought the 4S version, and the reason I went for the 4S is I've got quite a lot of 6 inch, um, sorry, 6S builds as it is. So I decided to get some 4 inch stuff. This has obviously got some really nice, it's got the NIN 2306 motors on here, the gold bling bling ones. It's got loads of bling on the front. It's got TPU virtually everywhere, and this is how it comes out of the box. So you need to do a couple of little adjustments, but the minor. So you can, it comes with an adapter actually, so an angle adapter to get you up from here, uh, to get to be of like, I don't need to, it just give you enough, there's enough gift to plug in there. But on the other side, they have the slot for the SD card. So all I did was cut that, and then just pushed it to one side of a pair of tweezers to put my SD card in. No biggie. 
and I kept the done. I've seen videos where they've chopped it off, but I decided I could keep it on. I didn't need to do that. And it also comes with a long trailing wire at the back of here. This is the bind and fly DJI version to connect up to your receiver, and it's can do and it's got a five wire connector. So brilliant, well done to Flywheel for that. Rather than having to strip the quad again, you can just do that where you put the receiver in a different matter. There ain't a lot of room in here. Even to put the receiver in the back, I don't think. It's probably one of the nicest looking um, quads I've ever had. The TPU is nicely done. The antennas look too short to me. What I might do is put them out and put some lollipops on here to get them height into there. Get a lollipop antennas and get some more height because they look a bit short to me. Um, TPU and that obviously, if you're a fan of these or not, the protector, I tend to dremel that down. So I make this far shorter so it still protects my lens but that is going to get in the picture. But so your props. So this has got props in shot. You quite clearly see they're far too close to it. Uh, I wouldn't have bought the air unit version of this, but they only had the air unit, or they only do the air unit version, I believe. I might be wrong, because I couldn't find a Vista version, and I would have bought it in Vista, because again, if I've got props in shot, I'm not going to be that bothered about having the footage from the air unit. But the air unit footage does look great, doesn't it? And that's how it comes, XT60 on the back. There's not really much else to say about it. It's really nicely built. It's got foam here, which I don't particularly like, but we'll see how we go with that. I'm going to fly it on a 4S 1500. I'll try it, actually, I'm going to try it on a 1050, a 1300 and a 1500. Let's do go through some flight times and let's see how well it performed on each of those. And like I say, I'll have the video footage of both of these two in one. So in a couple of weeks, or as quick as I can do it, I will do a video showing you the footage from both of these, tell you how well they flow, and I'll fly, and I'll do the whole thing down at the field rather than do it back in here. I'll just do the whole video from down there. So, once again, thanks very much for watching. Um, have a fantastic day. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe.